this tutorial I'm going to get into hints and tips and also fundamentals and basics all associated with using New Blue Tidler EX. I want to start by using a still image. I want to set my still image to a length of about five seconds. That enables you to have some time for some special effects to occur. If this was a video I would split my video where I want the effect to start and then split the video again where I want the effect to end. Then apply Titler to that segmented clip. Click your FX tab. Drag the Titler onto your image. Open up your Options panel. Click Customize. Select Maximize Window so you've got an easier image to work with. Placing your arrow over this line allows you to resize your image. Default size is somewhere around here. I prefer to have it larger like this. Save a little space for your timeline. Effects and transitions are stored up here in the library. When you click on it, it has to populate the library. This takes a few seconds. I will be covering this in a couple minutes. Right now I just want to apply some color to my text so that you can see it easier. So up here is your font library. Large selection of choices. I'm going to come over here and click on my text. Okay, now everything's selected. Open my fonts back up. Now let's say I want to go with this font. Select that and it changes. Okay, now let's say you wanted it to be bold text. There's your bold, italicized, underlined. This over here is your kerning. That's the space in between your text letters. You can double click and enter a number digitally or just use the up and down arrows. Now letting this, this is different. I'm going to take them up, move this out of the way. I'm just going to add a paragraph. Okay, I'm going to click. Hit enter. I can put in another word. make it more visible. The display digital value allows you to apply that value to another text for an exact match. Selected text can be eliminated by pressing delete. Okay, along with other things you can change, uh, come inside the title box, left click and drag. That highlights these three parts of the text. Now you can come in and change just those three to say you want this, okay? And let's say you want to go to a different uh, a different font. Uh, try that, okay? Aside from endless possibilities, you can change the individual colors and so forth of the fonts. There's a lot of animation techniques within this program. I'm going to go into that in my second tutorial covering advanced techniques. Okay, here's your basic motion. Here's rotation. Uh, if you want your text to be larger, just grab any corner, move them diagonally. If you just want to distort them and pull it out this way, you grab the center of the line, both either side. Same with distorting this way. Okay, this is your 3D motion. Real quick like, I'm going to add a little extrusion to the text so you can see what's going on. You can't see the extrusion right now because it is behind the text. Your 3D motion will bring this out. Yeah, see, there's your text growing longer, shorter. Depending on what part of in this circle that you put your pointer and click depends on where the text, how it responds to 3D motion. It'll take a little getting used to to get the hang of it, but like I said, depending on where you grab it, depends on how it behaves. 
it, it's pretty simple to get used to. It's, that pretty well covers your resizing and rotation and so forth. Okay, and last but not least, put this green box around your text to move your text around. When these four arrows appear on the line, that's how you do it. Okay. If you want to use the pre-selected font styles, what you're going to want to do is figure out what style you think that you want to go with. Select your text window. Move your mouse over the styles to take a peek. Then with the decision made, all you have to do is click on it. With the text window still selected, just come up to your fonts, pick one, and it's changed. A couple features of the timeline I want to go over at this time. Okay. The duration of the clip is indicated here. This was a little short clip. Anyway, you can zoom in on the timeline. Okay. Adding a second separate text is done by selecting Add Paragraph. This program only allows for two paragraph tracks max. This bar indicates how long the title is displayed. Drag the timeline bar back to shorten its duration. Along with the fact that you shorten the clip from here, you also control at what point the title starts in your video from this point. Different effects allow you to do different things within the timeline, and I will be addressing those features at the appropriate time. Something else I didn't point out yet was, depending on where your paragraph is set depends on how this text lines up. Okay. Currently, it's set to center. Okay. You want it to line up to the left. Line up to the right. And lining up to the left and right only seems to line things up to the left. Here is a second example I've prepared just to show what happens. And it's aligned to the left once again. I'm at a loss to explain it. If somebody knows the answer, please feel free to leave a comment. Okay, once you've rotated everything and done all you care to do with this, what you have to do is save your work. So in order to save your work, just hit OK. It is now saved here. And as with any project, if you want to save your work and take a break, save as, give it a name, and save. 